What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this. Another edition of Cub Reacts on a Wednesday afternoon. Very excited to be jumping into this one today as we continue our exploration into, I suppose, recent Zambian music history. Very, very excited to see where this one takes us. It goes by the name Blessings Follow Me, coming to us from Yo Maps, featuring Chef1872 artists we have recently featured on the channel quite heavily. Um, I'm excited to see how these two link up on this one, man. It should be a good one. As always, if you are new to the channel, do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page of course turning notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff we are hurtling towards 59,000 subscribers we're trying to hit 60k uh, by the end of the year hopefully we can do that with your help so please do get involved now without further ado we're going to jump into this one it is a slightly longer tune so the video is likely to be a little bit longer i'm apologizing in advance for that but here we go let's see how it's sounding Kalandaya, video production to your maps. Chef 187. This summer. Oh, so it's a remix. I didn't say that in the title. Okay, cool. So immediately on this one, the drums are sounding very, very lively. I'm loving the energy that's pulsating through them. They're very, very punchy. There's a lot of kind of subtle percussive elements going on as well. The tune itself is being driven by those punchy drums and also that subtle kind of plucked guitar line going on behind. We're about to get, I believe, into the first verse. Let's see how it's sounding, man. I'm liking the high tempo energy on this one, though. It's a beautiful vocal, man. Blessings follow me. Jeez. I'm liking the use of this kind of euphoric bridge section before we get into the main bulk of the tune. We get drums in the intro, the drums are then stripped out and we're left with just kind of floating synthesizers and just kind of like this airy texture running throughout the central piece. Then following on from that as well, we then get into um, the more sort of percussive layers coming back in um, and we get again this wicked vocal line, um, which sounds fantastic, I can't lie. The actual vocal sounds fantastic all the way through this so far. Okay. So the instrumental structuring on this one is very, very clean. You've got these very kind of, uh, al al almost like kind of a punchy bass notation bits going on down below. They're kind of log drums, they're kind of not. They just have that sort of sound to them. They're very synthetic and they're just kind of flicking away at the lower end like this, that's, that's what basically the lower end is. You've then just got this very um, pristine set of drum sounds running throughout the middle. And again, the lead vocal on this is so clean, man. You can hear the emotion, you can hear the intensity, you can hear all the things you want to hear in a lead vocal in a track that's called Blessings Follow Me. It's clearly an emotional tune. Um, and you can hear that emotion seeping in through the lead vocal. The use of the choral vocals as well brings a lot of life to the tune. It's really interesting listening to this as the tune's progressing. As it's a longer tune, you have kind of got a bit more space, a bit more kind of room to manoeuvre in regards to bridges, in regards to kind of build-ups, in regards to building up the intensity you want to build up on a tune like this. And I've got to say, it's sounding great. Um, I'm really liking this uh, this introduction. Uh, I think Maps is so good at what he does um, from what we've heard of him on the channel. Um, and this is another great example. Again, apologies for any language barriers we are hearing. If anyone wants to do any translations, please do leave them in the comment section down below and I will pin them to the top of the page. Um, but this is sounding wicked. <laughs> Hey, 
fighter, but no one is going deeper. Not your pen, I get you to see that. Show me some support, it's way cheaper. Any point of parental advisory. Can't tell me about a lend and guy for it. They cheat to kill a lemon and more ivory. Damn, I'm super no more style for me in the patient. Again, Chef just arriving as he always seems to do, man. Pure finesse in his vocal construction. The uh, cadences he's using, again, the rhythmic patterns he's choosing to roll with. Just a very clean vocal. I can't comment too much lyric wise, obviously, because there is a language barrier. But we're here to address the sonics more than anything else on Cubcam TV. That's what we try to focus on if you are new to the channel. Um, but I'm very much enjoying, again, the kind of poise that he brings to the table whenever he does jump into a tune like this. You just hear him um, just own the tune. He just owns it um, in, re in regards to the kind of cadences. Again, that sort of the strength within his vocal is very, very clear. Um, and again, I like the cut where we are video wise as well. I like just the, the kind of complete change in scenery. Um, and almost the simplicity of this shot works really well. I like that transition as well. I like the fact we've been continuously transitioning through the kind of falling back into the chair. It's almost like falling back into water and then it transitions. It's a very simple one. It's something we see in a lot of music videos. It's something we see in a lot of films as well. But it's just a cool transitional effect, man. It's a cool thing to add into the video, which has been very well shot, by the way. I have really enjoyed the actual video and how it looks. Blessings follow me. Bagabila bakanguise. I think I wake up on a year of a cancer. It's so catchy. We be body and body on seven for a young column, baby. Blessings follow me. Alale satalala. And again, that transition that we keep hearing from that pre-bridge, um, where you almost hear the kind of syncopated chord stabs, almost kind of reggae-esque in the way that they kind of float around the mix, you kind of transition from that into this hook, which is so, so catchy and the way it's made. I'm loving the bounce of the drums. I'm loving the intensity of his vocal lines on this as well. The fact that the pre-bridge and the, uh, the hook itself both have the same level of intensity is such a cool thing to see. This is sounding wicked, man. Again, that bass line transition down below is great as well. You've just got this kind of, it almost fuses with the choral notes. You kind of get that, the learner. And the bass line down below kind of lifts up underneath. It's a really cool thing to have um, because it just gives the whole thing an additional sense of transition. The transitions on this tune have been fantastic from the chorus to the hook um, to the, the choral vocal, sorry, to the hook, to the, the pre-bridge, to the verses themselves, into Chef's verse. Everything about this has been very smoothly transitioned. It's something that needs to be pointed out. And now we're going to eating food. So again, I mean, I can't make out too much lyric wise on this. It does seem to be a kind of tale of, from the video at least, the video is telling a tale of going from quite difficult times and being in difficult places to actually being somewhere where you want to be. That's the kind of impression and getting again, apologize, uh, apologizing, sorry for any, um, obviously language translations that I'm not able to kind of break down. Um, but overall, I have very much enjoyed this, man. I think the performance from Maps has been spectacular. Great feature from 187 as well. Um, but yeah, let's let it run through to the end and give it our final breakdown. Love these drums.
There we go, then. The sounds of Yo Maps on this one. A very cool tune indeed. It goes by the name Blessings Follow Me featuring Chef 187. A tune that I did very, very much enjoy, man. I like the fact it has so much about it. I like the fact that the tune itself is just so kind of constantly based in transition. I like the fact that you do have that pre bridge, that hook, the choral elements either side of that. Chef's verse is fantastic. And again, on a vocal level, this might be my favorite thing that I've heard from Yo Maps because the whole tune just has um, just a kind of natural, I want to say, I'm trying to think of the best way. There's a, there's a natural kind of delicacy to it. There is a natural kind of... Um I'm trying to think of the best word and the word is literally escaping me. There's a vulnerability. That's it. There's a vulnerability about the bo- vocal and I'm assuming that does tie into a lot of the lyricism as well. But there we go. Guys, as I said before, apologies for any kind of lyric-based um, kind of mistranslations or anything like that. If you do have um, a complete translation, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll give it a read through. But there we go. I have enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments down below as well. A massive shout out to all of the uh, new Zambian fans joining the channel. You guys have boosted the channel up ridiculously and it's great to see so many of you enjoying the content and and as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on as well, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. And we shall see you all next time. Peace. This is Aaron Glitch and you're tuning to the sounds of Kovu right now. You already know the thing. Bad boy selector. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.